Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia, near Metro Atlanta. And today we're going to talk about an area that hardly ever gets touched on. And I'm not sure why, but hopefully we'll be able to do it a little bit of justice today. I'm talking about the work area in QuickBooks Online Accounting. And I am in a sample QBOA realm, which is Garcia Consulting. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on the work tab. And what we're actually going to do from this work tab today is we're going to actually initiate a client request. And it's real easy to do. There's a button up here that you can click. Now the caveat to this is that you can only use this with QBO connected clients. You can't use this for any non QBO clients because it'll only let you do it for those files that you have external accountant privileges with. So anyway, to get that started, you just go ahead and click on Create Client Request. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and create a request for one of the companies in here. I believe it's Rock Castle Construction. It's kind of backwards and I may just end up having to send uh, some feedback to Intuit that um, I have to title this. Uh, before I can even select the client, which is kind of backwards. But anyway, that's what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and do need credit card statements for March 2022. And then I can put the details in here and see now here, let me go ahead and select. It's Rock Castle Construction is the one that I want, okay. I think that's the only active file in here. I'm going to say, hey, Rock, I need your credit card statements for me, March 2022 statement cycle to complete end of month work. Thanks. And then I can go ahead and put the due date as being, let's say the end of this week, 4-22-2022. As of today, today is the 18th of April. And then this is real important because I find that this works best when you actually notify the client because they're going to receive a notification about this request to their email. But you can, but I'm going to show you on the other side that they can actually see this within their QuickBooks file. So what I'm going to do now is click on Share, and as you can see, and if I turn off these notifications from QuickBooks, you might be able to see this a little bit better because a lot of the system-generated stuff I don't really care to see. But if I go in here and look at this week, you can see. Here we go, it's on this list right here. And I can open that up to view any documents that might be attached or any comments. So let's go ahead and switch over to the client and see what they may have on their end. And it's just really easy just to go ahead and do the client switcher from here. Okay, so on the client end, what we would do is if we were the client or say we we're working the client's file, we can go down here to my accountant and that's where you can actually see any of those requests populate. So if you want to sort by recently updated and there we go, there's the request right here and it's still showing all these are past due, which is why they're showing orange like that. But basically from the clients in, they can see that. But like I said, they will also receive an email as well where they can respond to that. And then what happens is when they actually send you a request, you'll be able to see any shared documents in here. So any of these shared documents that are in here were documents that were shared previously. So anyway, once they respond to this request here, for the credit card statements, you'll be able to actually look at those in the share documents area and do whatever you need to do with them. Anyway, that's basically all I had for today. Hopefully this will help you 
Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody. We will see you soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.